Well, Alzheimer's disease is something many worry could strike them or a parent or someone they love. It has happened to a music superstar who will be honored at the Grammys this weekend. Three on your side health reporter Stephanie Stahl has an inside look at what it's doing to his life. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Glenn Campbell. He's a country music superstar with eight Grammys. Glenn Campbell. He was the first singer to win in both country and contemporary categories in the same year. Like a the rhinestone cowboy who sang Gentle on My Mind is struggling with his. Ashley, my, little, my, young, my youngest girl, she was well, the only girl in it. What's the other one? She's your youngest. Glenn Campbell sometimes can't remember his children. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease last year, used, but still has a sense of humor and always depends on his wife, Kim. You know, what am I? How old am I now? 45? 65? What? 95? 75. 75? Yeah. Well, what's that's a number, you know? Yeah. What, for 75? Uh-huh. Wow. His mind seems to come and go. He remembers his friend Elvis and being in movies like True Grit with John Wayne. He won, that, his, he only won his only Oscar, Oscar finally right. gave him that big push. <laughs> He's continued to tour and decided to go public with the diagnosis because he can forget words to songs and the family didn't want people to think he was drinking again, something that was an issue years ago. He's forgetful and gets disoriented, um, <laughs> even in our own house, you know. That's a good trick, guys. Where's the bedroom? Where are the stairs? Where... <laughs> what day is this? People say it's the loved ones who suffer most with Alzheimer's. Kim says his medications have helped some. It hasn't affected his music, really. He plays great guitar and sings great. This is what an Alzheimer's brain can look like. Dr. Howard Kaplan, a neurologist at Lankanon Medical Center, says Campbell's decision to reveal his disease is brave and will hopefully help raise money for more research. Where people will become aware of it, people will come, quote unquote, out of the closet and begin to deal with it on a more rational basis. But being fearful about Alzheimer's is understandable. Researchers still don't know what causes it, have an effective treatment, or even a good way to diagnose it and the numbers are exploding. Hi, I'm Glenn Experts say there's no way to decamble. People with Alzheimer's live on average eight years noticeable. We know really active is very, very helpful. But there is no cure. Cowboy is facing a long and difficult goodbye. That cure. Stephanie Stahl, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Gentle on your mind.